Hey there! If you ever chanced upon my HIO page or just took a quick look at my YouTube thumbnails, it's not that hard to see that my general style is quite flat, two dimensional. And since October rolled around, I thought it was time to face my spooky fears of learning something new. So, in the spirit of prompt this season, I downloaded Blender and tried to hone my 3D skills in 31 days. Here's the prompt list, here's the default cube, let's get to work. First week was a lot of experimentation and looking up tutorials. I barely even knew how to navigate around Blender, so a lot of the time, I spent more time looking at menus than actually making things. I learned a lot about how to use textures and materials, and I even went very ambitious with a grease pencil attempt on day 5. Blender crashed once, taking out the day 6 bird. Then on day 7, I decided that I wanted to try animating a person going up the stairs. So I followed a quick low poly character tutorial and made a very blocky base character. I also decided now would be a good time to try claw simulation, and it honestly turned out better than I expected. I start off week 2 by trying out Blender's hair particle system for some fun and easy ghibli like grass. Also look at this little guy. I was quite busy the following day so I looked up some buildings and turned the little guy into a big little guy. I attempted to make a more refined human model on day 10 but Blender decided to crash on me. Another attempt at the body sculpt and hey look at that, it's me! And on day 12 I went for a really simple bell relic and I just love how it looks. Tried to remake some Catan tiles for day 13. At the end of the week, I tried recreating Hestu from Breath of the Wild. Shakala. Then I had a little bit way too much to handle for the next following days. And even though I tried to use Blender those days, I didn't really enjoy what came out of them. Then on day 19, I went back to basics, kept things simple, and made a wiglet. Then I resurrected the bird, and tried my hand at tune shading and testing out some more modifiers for the last day of the week. At this point, the words didn't feel all that interesting anymore, so I decided to do some personal work and practice. Pretty sure I worked on my game project for a while then. Remember those random monoliths that appeared in the news a while back? Well, here is one of them. I really took my time on fleshing out the materials and lighting, so I'm really proud of this one. Then bam, day 26, gem. Made some big blocky shapes and turned it into a gem monster. I realized that I haven't really used grease pencil as much as I wanted to this month, so I went back to it. Not that great. Day 28, I make a nice homage to the best cartoon show ever. And now we're on the last few days. Day 29, I wanted to make a really grand scene and challenged myself with making ruins out of a robot hand. Probably my best work so far. And I followed it up with one of my laziest. But hey, little guy changed shape. And you might be wondering, where's day 31? Well, I'm probably still working on it. I really want my final piece to be worth showing on its own. And that's most of my journey in a nice little bun. But before I go, here are some tips if you want to start learning Blender. Start with a plan. Some of the best work I made this month is when I came in knowing roughly what I wanted to make. Having a sketch or doodle around will keep you from wandering aimlessly around your project. Make things that you want to make. Donut tutorial is practically a classic in Blender training, and it's good for learning the basics. But if you want to make a low poly human mesh, there's a lot of great tutorials elsewhere that will teach you how to do it right away. Take breaks. If you start to get frustrated while you're learning, then you won't really learn. So relax, unwind, and get back to it later. Now, I don't think I'm an expert by any means. Quite far from it really. I doubt I've even scratched the surface of what I can do with Blender, and I'm excited to see how far I can go. I'm also raring to start making certain 3D games that I've always had in the back of my mind. I'll also be linking every YouTube tutorial that I use along the way in the description. But that's pretty much it. I am the Noontime Dreamer. Thank you so much for watching, and never stop dreaming.